Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. Today we're going to talk about the Sunlu Fill a Dryer S1 Plus. It's a 3D printing mate uh, for drying your uh, filaments if they've been out for a long time. Uh, what happens with filaments is after a while they'll absorb moisture and then they will break or crack and you're just not going to get a very good print out of it. So let's get on, see what it is, see how it works and uh, yeah let's go okay so this is the filament that I had out it's PLA it's been setting out for a little while and I've since used it in here but this is the Sunlu film dryer S1 plus 3d printing me okay so drying while printing to improve your 3d model so I'll show you what that means but let's go over the product itself so of course it comes with your uh, user guide I did not find it especially useful, um, really at all, um, but I went online, they do provide you a uh, QR code, so you can use that, go online and figure it all out anyway. So this is our product here, of course it has power, so you plug it in in the back, right here. Okay, so we'll start with that. And show you what everything is obviously I've had it out and tested it to make sure to see how everything works okay so just plug it in and you have a little thing here I decided to leave this on because it's not glued on or nothing and it makes you help to, just to lift it up it has this little thing here to cover the hole so if you want to feed your cable through the top right here which I tend to do you can just leave that in there for now I'm just going to take it out and I'll show you the inside. So you have two little rollers on the inside here, all right, and that helps the filament to spin and everything to move. There's really not much else to it. So we take our filament and it just sets inside. Nothing too much. Now you can feed it through here, okay, so you can just close it or you can feed it through here. Choice is yours. I personally like this one. So you just put it through the top. And you can just plug the hole with this. Now it does come with little uh, Teflon pieces as well. So if you want to use one of those you can, but I find this just works perfectly. So let's plug it in and see how this all works in the front here. So when you first plug it in, nothing comes up here at all. So we'll just touch it to turn it on. All right, now what it's going to show you here is your PV, so your temperature, and if you hit it again, the SV. I'll explain that in a bit. So SV is the default that we want it to get to. PV is telling you where you're at. So your temperature. So the moisture. So once it gets up to what you want it to, then like this will constantly change. So it's going from 19 to 20. It's going to go up to 50, which is the default. If you want to change the duration, simply push this button and hold it for three seconds. It's going to come up. It's going to tell you the time is six hours. You can increase it or decrease it pushing on these buttons. And when I go up to seven hours, go back down to six. That's it. That's all it really it, it's all it really is to it. Push again for three seconds, and you'll go back to the temperature. So this is the temperature on the inside. So when it gets to 50, you leave it, it, it the timer will go. You can leave it on the timer if you wish. And then you'll watch as it goes down to five hours, four hours so far. Once it hits a six hour mark or however long you programmed it for, it will stop, your film will be ready. If you want to print with that, again, you can just pull it through, feed it down into your extruder, and it will pull it out and everything will be good to go. So my suggestion, don't do what I've done right now, of course. Put the whole thing in and just leave it set there. Then you can feed it out afterward, all right? I've already heated this up, so I know what it's going to do. I know what it's like. Very simple, very straightforward, not a lot to worry about. But what happens if your filament 
You're like, why do you even need this? Well, for starters, if your filament has been out and it's got moisture, it will snap. That happened to me today, actually, on one that I thought was fine. And I'm going to show you an example of what happens when your filament isn't working right, other than the fact it's going to snap and maybe not finish your, your project. Let me show you this. I'm just going to move this. There's a funnel. Now I'm going to close in on this so you can see it. You can see, so this is supposed to be a funnel, but you can see all the air holes and everything, right? Some of that can be under extrusion. Some of it can be because your filament is just not doing it right. So I'm going to show you a comparison between this one and after the filament's been dried. So you can get a different look and see what they look like. Okay, so we looked at this one here and we could see how it worked. A little under extrusion going on. But mostly it was just the filament not being ready. So, put that one out of the picture, and now we have this one. So, you can compare them. Look at the differences. Alright, and then when I dry it a little bit more, now we're at this one. And this one is way better. Now, I had to choose a different filament because I ran out of the other one. But, let's just zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so now you get to see just how much is going on here. So this one, completely untreated. That one about an hour. This one, I think it was like two or three. And it would get even better, depending on settings and your cure settings and all that kind of stuff. But overall, when you compare all three, the one on the right is obviously the better looking one. And yeah, just a better job. So, that's why I think people should have one of these. Because I was under the impression that the filament that I had was perfect. Nothing wrong with it. In fact, I have it here. So you can see it. So when you look at this, there is nothing to indicate there's anything wrong with this. But, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this. And normally, you, you can tell, but you can't always. What if I bend it? Is it going to break? It kind of does. Like, look how easy that just... Like, you shouldn't be able to just break it off like that easily. Alright? So, I'm going to warm that all up. Put it in the machine for a little bit. And... That's going to give you a better result. So, we should be able to get one like this again. With the same filament. And we've saved a lot of uh, material. So the difference before and after is quite noticeable. Um, but when it breaks off, uh, not only can it not finish your product or your build, um, it's just annoying. Okay, and it's going to give you bad prints, th bad 3D prints. All right, so the, even the one I did, um, even when it cracked, I was surprised. I didn't even know it was going to do that. So I heated it up for a little bit. If I heat it up for the full length of time of the six hours default and then let it go, I think I would even get a better one. So, and I'm going to do that, but it just, you won't see it on this video. But I think it's pretty apparent from the first one to the last one what the differences are. So if you're thinking about getting one of these and you don't think there's a need for it, you might be surprised. Um, you can't leave your filament out for long periods of time. Well, you can. But you may encounter that snapping, uh, prints just not going right. All right. Anyhow, that's pretty much it. There's nothing fancy about this. Um, I just wanted to point it out as a product that you can get for your 3D printer. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you have questions about it, I'll get back to you. Um, it's a very simple product, but and it's not cheap. I, but, I mean, for what it does, I guess... It's not bad. I think it is marked up a little bit. It's about $89 Canadian. Um, so it's a little higher than I'd like to see. I would have liked to have seen it around the maybe $50, $60 price range. But, I mean, you're going to buy it once. You're not probably ever going to buy another one because it's going to last a long time. And it's just going to work. So Now, in terms of plugging it in, you just feed your filament in, set it. 
Now I found if I put it on the side, it uh, it didn't work so well. But I put it against the side of the machine, so when the fil filament is pulled out, it works fine. Sorry, I'm stuttering. It just pulls out and there's nowhere to go, so it's all good. It turns very easily, so there's no worry if it's going to pull it easy or pull it hard or something's going to go wrong. It's not. It's going to work perfect. So anyway, if you're new here, think about subscribing. Like it, give me a thumbs up, hit that bell for notifications so you see videos in the future, and as always, thanks for watching.